Good afternoon, all our friends. So for this afternoon circle, I wanted to play a game with you. It's a game called What Doesn't Belong, and it's a game that we can find on our language shelf, and it's something that you can do at home, too, with objects or pictures. Um, but before I get into the game and I read you a story, let's sing our good afternoon song. Good evening, good evening, good evening, all our friends. We love you, we miss you, please sit down, let's begin. Good evening, good evening, good evening, all our friends. We love you, we miss you, please sit down, let's begin. Great. So this game is called What Doesn't Belong? What Doesn't Belong? And I have a group of pictures. We are going to look at the pictures and then decide what doesn't belong in that group. Okay, you ready? So here's the first picture grouping. Let's see, we have a child washing dishes. We have a globe. We have children playing and a child concentrating. So what doesn't belong in this group of four pictures? What doesn't belong? Let's see. The globe. The globe does not belong, so we're going to put an X over the picture. Does not belong. Okay, next group. Ah, here we have shoes, a sheep, a chicken, and a horse. So in this picture we have animals and we have a pair of shoes. What doesn't belong in this group? The shoes. The shoes aren't an animal. They don't belong. Okay, next picture group. We have one bird with red and white feathers. We have a blackbird, looks like a raven or a crow. And we have a bird with an, a brown belly. It looks like a wobbler bird. And then we have Dishes, like cups and plates. Let's see. Bird, 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 dishes. What doesn't belong? The dishes do not belong. It's not a bird. Okay, last picture set. We have red poppies, a nest of blue eggs, purple flowers, and a rose. Nest, flower, flower, flowers. What doesn't belong? The nest. The nest isn't a flower, it doesn't belong. Okay, now I'm gonna show you one more time. So we have child, 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 and the globe does not belong, so we put the X. We have Animal, 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 and the shoes do not belong. We put an X. We have bird, 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 and the dishes do not belong in this group. So we put an X. We have flower, 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 and the nest does not belong. So we put an X. So you can play this game at home. I have five worksheets going home. You can color all the objects in the pictures and then you can circle or draw a big X, like a big red X over the thing that does not belong in the group. And you can also play this with toys at home. If you have toys that uh, are animals that live on the farm and you have a truck then the truck wouldn't belong and you can play this game at home and you would just need a big piece of paper with a giant X on it and you can play um, with toys or pictures that, that you have in your house or you could just work on the worksheets that I'm sending home. There's going to be five worksheets so there's lots of opportunity for you to practice looking and seeing what doesn't belong. Okay, now I'm going to read a story that's about farm animals. Cock-a-doodle-doo. Barnyard Hullabaloo by Gils Andrea and David Watsoyes.
Oh, it looks like it's cow spots. Early in the morning as the sun begins to rise, the pigs are feeling hungry and they're snorting in their sties. The rooster wakes the farm up with a cock-a-doodle-doo and the sheepdog, the sheepdog won't stop barking and the cows begin to moo. There's a stomping in the stables and there's bleeding in the barn, so let's climb aboard the tractor and explore this noisy farm. Rooster, cock a doodle doo, cock a doodle doo. I'm the rockin' rooster baby. Tell me what who are you? Cock a doodle doo. Chickens. We chickens are covered with feathers all over our wings and our legs. So of course we could fly if we want to try, but we're too busy laying these eggs. Cow. Sometimes I moo while I'm chewing. I hope you don't think that it's rude, but mooing and chewing are what I like doing. Do you moo when you chew your food? Mm. Sheepdog. I am the farmer's old sheepdog, his faithful and loyal best friend. I've been by his side from the day I was born, and I'll stay with him right to the end. And a barnyard cat. Hello, I'm the big barnyard kitty. I sleep in the shade of the house but I always keep one eye half open to spot every passing plump mouse. Pigs. I love taking care of my piglets and watching them wiggle and squeal. They're clamp they're, they clamper all over each other all day to snuffle around for a meal. Wiggle, wiggle. <coughs> Donkey. It's wonderful being a donkey. I simply spend hours and hours just wandering around on the soft grassy ground sniffing the sweet smelling flowers. Turkey. I've got these funny floppy things that hang down from my neck. They dangle when I gobble and they wobble when I peck. Geese. We waddle about in the barnyard and make so much noise when we talk that wandering gooselings rush out of our way as we babble and cackle and squawk. Sheep. I've got gorgeous fluffy fleece, which makes me very proud. So I skip around my meadow, making believing, make believing that I'm a cloud. And goat. I sometimes hang up by the sheep pen, chuckling into my beard. Sheep often think that they're better than us, but goats never need to get sheared. Sheared means they don't need their hair cut. Because sheep, their hair grows really um, thick and long, and it needs to be cut. And then they use the wool to make clothes. Horse. There's nothing like hay when you're hungry. I'm happy to munch a whole bale. But sometimes I stop for a clippity-clop or to flick a few flies from my tail. A bull. I love to snort steam from my nostrils. It makes me look angry and tough. And then I start scraping my hoof on the ground if that isn't scary enough. Ooh, he looks like he's about ready to charge. Fox. I wait in the woods until nightfall, then down to the barnyard I creep, because nothing looks quite as delicious as chickens who've fallen asleep. I always hunt at nighttime, and I sleep throughout the day. Terwit, terwool, you'll hear me cry out searching for my prey. Remember, owls are nocturnal, which means they are asleep during the day and they come out at night to hunt for mice. Now it's nighttime in the barnyard and the moon is shining bright. It's time to leave the animals and wave them all good night. The cows are feeling sleepy so they settle on the ground. It won't be very long now till they sleep safe and sound. The horse is in his stable and the hens are in their shed but the sheepdogs fall and fast asleep inside the farmer's bed.
the end. Okay, friends, I hope you enjoyed playing the game with me, and I hope you print out the five worksheets and you can um, color them and decide what doesn't belong. And I miss you.